we'll guide you through how to download and install iris shaders in Minecraft 1.21.6. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Shaders can completely change the look of Minecraft, add in shadows amongst many other different lighting effects. So we'll guide you through how this can be done. To get started, let's quit Minecraft. Now go and open up a web browser of your choice. To get started with this, we need to get something called Fabric. Fabric will go and allow us to go and run the mods required for shaders. So you want to go and type in Fabric Minecraft, like so, and you can come to the site, fabricmc.net. Press download at the top, and you can then press download for Windows. Next, we need to go and get the API. So press Fabric API. This will bring you to a site called Curse Forward. There are lots of mods here. You can read about it, but to download it, press files. We can then filter for 1.21.6. Here it is. Come to the right, press the three dots, and we can press download file. You'll get a countdown here and it'll then download. Next, we need to search for a site called Modrinth. Here, there are lots of different mods, so come here. And what we need to do is go and get Sodium. You can press Discover Mods, and then at the top, you want to go and find Sodium. You can search for it, or for me, it's just here, so we can click on it. Then you can go and press Versions at the top. What we can then do is go and filter for the version we need, which in this case is 1.21.6. Here it is. We can come to the right and press Download. It's now downloaded, as you can see. And what I need to do here is the Fabric API is blocked. So I'll just go and download it properly. We can then press back. And then what we can get is Iris shaders. So we can go and click on it here. We can press versions at the top and we can then go and filter for 1.21.6. And we can come to the right and press the download button. At the top of Modrinth, you can go and select shaders like so. And there's gonna be different packs you can go and get. So you can browse through these as they're all gonna look slightly different. Of course, you can get multiple. What I'm gonna do though is go and get the complementary shaders and I'll press versions at the top. And then what I can do is go and get the most up-to-date one. Before we start the install process though, a big thank you to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. If you're in need of a Minecraft server, check out the link in the pinned comment and the description. At the moment, you can get a discount as well. If we scroll down, we can start checking out some of their great features, like one-click install more packs, DDoS protection, 24-7 servers and support, ultra latency, and many other great features as well. So a big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. As I said, if you're interested, there'll be a link down below. Now to go and start installing, you need to go and open up your file explorer, come into your downloads, and we need to start with the fabric installer. So go and double click on it like so. And what you can then do is go and select 1.21.6 and press install, press okay. Now we need to go and open up the Minecraft launcher. At the top, press installations and scroll down and find 1.21.6 and press the folder icon to the right. In here, you need to go and scroll down and go and find the mods folder, come into it. And then what you need to do is we need to go and come back to our downloads and we need to go and drag and drop Sodium, the Fabric API and Iris Fabric in like so. And you can go and press play to the right of Fabric 1.21.6. I've just gone and jumped straight into a world. But if we go and pause it by pressing escape, press options and video settings with Iris, it will go and add shader packs at the top. So you can click here, but you can press open pack folder, go and drag and drop in the shader pack and select the pack you want to go and use and you want to go and make sure they're enabled at the top, press apply. You can then go and unpause the game. And as you can see, we now have shaders enabled and these are absolutely insane. 